Hello, this is Stefan Merrick from Conductor, and welcome to this Conductor Hands-On, in which we're going to play with replicated Kafka topics, because now we have a Kafka cluster with three brokers. So now that we have three brokers in Apache Kafka, we are able to create topics with a higher replication factor. And if you don't see any topic data right here, this is because when we created our Kafka cluster with three brokers, the project makes you create an entirely new Kafka cluster, and therefore we will not see the same topic data as we had when we had one broker, okay? So we have to recreate everything. So when we create a topic right here, now we can call it my first topic. And this is going to be replicated, so I was going to call it replicated, but it doesn't really matter. And so as we can see right here, we can again set up many partitions, but now the replication factor can go between anywhere between one and three. And this is because we have three Kafka brokers available in Conductor. So let's start with a Kafka um, a replication factor of one. I'm going to create a topic, so I'll call it my first topic, uh, rep one, and I'll click on create topic, and I will create a new one called my first topic, rep two, so to have a replication factor of two, and again with six partitions. And then my first topic, rep three with six partitions again, and a replication factor of one. Uh, oh, sorry, of three. So I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to show you how we can increase the replication factor of a topic with Apache Kafka. So you click on a topic, advanced, and then you can click on change replication factor. It's going to start a new window, and you can set the replication factor to three, and click on reassign, and you'll be good to go. So fairly easy with Conductor, you can do a lot of things. So let's uh, refresh this. Page. Okay, so I'm going to refresh this page right here. And so we have three topics, one with a replication factor of one, one with two, and one with three. And so as we can see here, we are showing the replication factor of one in red because we don't like it. We like when topics are replicated. And so we advise people to at least use a replication factor of two, and three is even better. But I want to show you what happens. So when we click on the replication factor of one, and we go per partition, or per broker, actually, it's going to be even easier. So broker one will have partition two and five, broker two is going to have partition zero and three, and broker three is going to have partition one and four. So this shows you that the partitions are spread out across all your three brokers when we have a replication factor of one. And you can have the same view per partition. So this shows you that partition zero is on broker number two, and partition one is on broker number three, partition two is on broker number one. So the topic is spread out across all the brokers. Now, if we have a look at the topic with a replication factor of two, and we look at partitions, we can see that we still have six partitions, okay? But now the partition has replicas. And so we have partition zero on broker number three and two. We have partition one on broker number one and three. We have partition two on broker number two and one. So as we can see, each partition is sitting on two brokers. And I've also shown you the concept of leaders and followers. So here for this partition zero, the leader is broker number three. For partition one, the leader is broker number one. And for partition two, the leader is broker number two. And so if I go to a per broker view now, we can see that the broker one is the leader for partition one and four, but has data for partition one, two, three, and four, and so on. So here we really see the fact that when we start replicating a, a, a topic, uh, we have more partitions on more brokers, but again, one broker will add, act as a leader for every single partition. And as an exercise, if we go to this one and we look at partitions, well, we can see that each partition is living on three different brokers. Only one broker is the leader again. And if we look at per broker, well, each broker is going to have all partitions of the topics because we have a replication factor of three and also three brokers in our cluster. This is not going to be the case if we have, say, 10 brokers in our cluster and a replication factor of three. Okay, great. So now let's have a look at what we can do with the fact that we have a replication factor. So if we take this topic right here, replication factor of three, for example, we can start a consumer on the right-hand side, and I'm going to start it right now. And we can start a producer on the left-hand side and we can start sending data to uh, this topic with a replication factor of three, and I'm going to yet again send the value hello world. And I will have this on the right side, 
and click on send. So the data is now being sent and we're starting to read it. So I'm going to um, stop it, have a tabular view and start it again. So we can really see the fact that the data is going into different partitions with different offsets. And so as you can see here, we don't see the broker because the broker doesn't matter. The broker is just receiving and sending data. But now something we can do is that we can shut down a broker and see if all of this still works, okay? And this is going to be the power of Kafka thanks to the replication factor. So from my Kafka window, I'm not going to stop it, but I'm going to open a new window on the right-hand side. And I'm going to do Docker Compose. I'm going to specify the same file as before. So Kafka a zookeeper single Kafka multiple.yaml. Stop. And then I will say Kafka 1, for example. So I'm going to stop my first Kafka broker and press Enter. And this is going to stop my Kafka 1 server. And as you can see, the shutdown is completed. So if I do the same command and now do PS to get the processes, as we can see, my Kafka 1 has exited but my Kafka 2 and my Kafka 3 are still up and running. So what we did right here is that we simulated the shutdown of a Kafka broker in our cluster, and we'll see what happens. So back in here, if we look at uh, the brokers right here, and I press on uh, re uh, refresh, we now only see two brokers. Okay, so two and three are here, but one is gone, which is what we expected. And if we look at our topic, my first topic number three, and we look at the partitions, as we can see, there are some warnings being shown because now some brokers are down. So as we can see here, the ISR is 2.3, okay? And 2.3 means that only the broker number 2 and number 3 are in sync for this partition. This is because the broker number 1 is down, and so we can show it here in Conductor. The broker number 1 is down, but uh, the data is only replicated to the other two brokers because, well, it's down. So this is something to address and something good to see. But this is okay in Kafka because we have a high replication factor. And if we look at the leadership, the leadership for partition number two has changed to broker number three. And this is again because the Kafka broker one is down. And so we set a warning here because we're saying, hey, partition number two is having leader number two as a broker. And this is not the preferred replica. The preferred replica is one, okay? And so this might be a problem if the broker number one stays um, away for too long, but this is not a problem when consuming from a topic. So very important to see because we show and display this information in Conductor. But nonetheless, our consumer did not stop. And if we clear the screen just to make it clear and keep on sending data into Kafka, well, the Kafka is being sent and is being sent again to all the partitions. So I'm going to show you this right now. So zero, one, well, two is not showing, but three, four, and five number of partition are still receiving data, even though we have a broker down. And this is thanks to the replication factor in Kafka. If we were to look at the Kafka topic, my first topic, rep one, this one would have some offline partitions because the Kafka broker is done, but we have not replicated that topic. And so therefore it's going to be missing and we cannot right now consume from partition two and five and so we call these partitions to be offline. So if I refresh this, as we can see, we have 11 URP, which is under replicated partition. And we have two offline partitions without a leader. So two without a leader, and this is a problem. So this is why we like to have a replication factor in Kafka, because when we have a replication factor, we can still keep on producing and sending uh, and consuming from a topic, even if a broker is down. So to fix this problem, now we're going to do the same command, but instead of stop, we're going to start Kafka 1. And by starting Kafka 1, what's going to happen is that the broker is going to be restarting, okay? And the data is going to be uh, up and running. And the cool thing is that when the broker restarts in Apache Kafka, all the data that was missing from when it was produced when the Kafka broker was down is going to be replicated. So now if I refresh this page, we have URP, so under replicated partitions are zero. and everything is up and running, we have no more warnings. And if I refresh this page, um, when a leader election is going to happen, then this warning should go away. As you can see right now, the replicas and the in-sync replicas contain all three brokers, one, two, and three. So this is great. So what I can do now is just wait a little bit, or we can trigger what's called a preferred replica leader election. So I'm going to do that. And then this has triggered it. And then I press on refresh. And now you can see that the leader is back to being broker number one 
for the partition number two. So that's it for this lecture around having a multiple brokers for Kafka topics and a higher application factor. It really shows you here the power of Kafka, and this is really the aha moment. And I think Connector is a great way to also show you how this works because we really show you exactly which partitions are on which brokers and the warnings. And so hopefully from an educational standpoint, that helps you a lot. But obviously when you have a Kafka cluster in production, then this is going to be really, really, really valuable information that is quite difficult to get using the CLI. So that's it for this lecture. I hope you liked it. And I will see you in the next lecture.